Alright, good morning everybody. It's a nice sunny Friday actually in Central Oregon. We're going to do some more stream fishing. Today's trip we are going to be hiking down this stream. There's a section downstream. We're about five miles from the main freeway here to the next road that crosses this. There is no other access unless you want to walk and hike down a canyon. So we're going to see what we can find down here another one of those small streams that has rainbows browns and some northern whitefish uh, I have not caught a brown in this river in a good 15 years but you never know there might still be some in here they don't get stocked anymore so unfortunately there's not as many as there used to be my father when he was a kid would fish down this he said he caught some really nice big browns but I have not caught any in a long time. And that was in the lower section, way past where we're going to be today. That's in the gorge area. A couple years ago, I walked this with my oldest. We made it about halfway down, hit to the canyon section. And pumice stone in here, we were walking with sandals on, and it was blistered us pretty badly, unfortunately. And I say... For the first half a mile, I am not going to expect to catch a whole lot in here. There's not much of a path, but about half a mile down, nobody walks. So we'll get down in there and see what we catch. This will be a lot of walking in the water. Because there is no trails other than deer trails most of the way down. Ooh, I just saw one jump in there. Might have to dig out the fly pole. Water's a little chilly. It's still fairly early, so it is not the warmest out. But ooh, it's chill. We'll come out here anyway. That's how we get out in here. That's yes, when my oldest and I walked this last time. We caught. I think a grand total of over 40 fish. Nothing any big. Or a foot long is about as big as you get in here. But normally... Nice little MEPS works well, but I'm seeing some larger fish jumping. So, let's dig out the fly pole. Alright, back to fishing. I have a six weight fly pole that my uncle got me years ago. I do not fly fish a lot, so see how out of practice I am. Use a Royal Coachman.
feel like I need to go back to a rooster tail. And yeah, give this try a couple more holes. Go back to Shane's tried and true way. Lowers. At least for me. I have a cousin that fly fishes way more than I do, and he's actually gotten way better at it than I have. I think this is the first time I broke out the fly pole in five, six years. Playing with my GPS and I catch a fish. Come here, little guy. That was the land of Shane trying to fly fish. We got uh, one fish. Had a couple more bites, nothing big. But that's what we do fishing later once I get my uh, casting pole and get going farther down. This is very much slower fishing than the last time I fished this a couple years ago. But the water is actually still fairly warm. And we've not made it very far, so we'll see how we do farther down. So many of these little teeny holes like this, they usually have one or two little rainbows in them. I feel like some days I have to be a rock climber to get anywhere around here. Let's see. Right below me is about the shallowest spot. We're still up high enough on the creek that there are some people come up here and fish, just not a lot. Oh, there's one. Just had to get a little farther down. Another little bitty rainbow. I'm sure there's bigger ones in here, but that is about the biggest I usually catch. And we've had a beaver in here. Got all the wood nipped off and just piled up. Usually a beaver. There's one. Not big at all, but I think it's bigger than the last one. Yep. Another little rainbow. Not a bitty guy. Pretty though. For years. I've heard stories from family members of this area. We are in Crescent Creek Canyon. There is no roads anywhere nearby, but I've heard there's some large, large fish in here. But as you can see at the start of the canyon, there is no trails and the water's pretty deep. So we'll see what we catch. And There's one. Oh, it came off. Little rainbow. Oh. Well, the gorge is done. I think I will leave this to younger people because I'm exhausted. It's still about a mile to make it back to campground. But we've got lots of fish in there. It's just really, really steep and no trails. But. That's a beautiful walk, and I enjoyed it. I'm not doing anything once I get back to camp. Oh, later, everybody.